friends, welcome to the channel Basier B-Tech. So today we are going to discuss the projection of lines using line rotation method. In the last class, we studied that how to project a line which is kept parallel to one of the planes, HP or VP and inclined to the other. So today we are going to study how to project lines that are inclined to both the planes, both HP and VP. Okay. I think I will give you a recap of the last class. That is, see, here are the four quadrants. Isn't it? HP and VP, the horizontal plane and the vertical plane are crossed each other and the intersection will be a line which is named reference line or XY line. Okay. And the front view means if a man is standing here and while he looks, this is the front view. Okay. And when he take a front view, he can see that this HP overlaps with XY. Isn't it? That is why I written over here. That is when we talk about front view. Okay, when the man is taking a front view, this XY is equal to HP. Okay, he sees the horizontal plane overlapped with XY. Similarly, if the man is having a top view like this, he observes that this VP is aligned with XY or VP is overlapped with XY. That is why I have written the statement that is when we talk about top view, okay, when we talk about top view, this XY is equal to the vertical plane. Okay. And the next point is how to measure the true length of an object. Okay. In order to measure the true length, what you need to do is place the object parallel to a plane. Okay. And uh, see what you see now on the screen is the front view, isn't it? And the plane against you is the VP. Okay. That is if you are having a front view, then the plane against you is the VP. And if you are taking a top view, the plane against you is your HP okay so now that what you see on your screen is the front view so of course this becomes your VP and when I place this pen parallel to my palm or parallel to this VP you will get the true length of the pen isn't it what you see now is the true length of the pen but if I tilt this pen and now this pen is somewhat inclined with VP because when I extend this pen it will get hit in the VP so we can tell that when an object is placed parallel to VP, the front view will give you the true length. Okay, that is what I've drawn here. That is we need to place an object which is parallel to VP. And when does this XY line becomes VP? When we talk about the top view. Top view means AB. So when AB is kept parallel to XY or rather when AB is kept parallel to VP, our front view A dash B dash gives you the true length. So, this is your true length. Okay. Similarly, uh, when we take a top view, see this is your HP and I am keeping the pen parallel to this HP. So, when, when I look from the top, okay, when I look from the top, I will get the true length. But when I tilt this pen a little bit and when I extend it, this gets hit on the HP. So, we never get the true length while viewing on the top view. So, that is it. If you are placing the pen which is parallel to HP, the top view will give you the true length. Similarly, you can see the figure that is when we are placing a placing an object parallel to HP. When does this XY becomes HP? When we talk about front view, isn't it? So when this front view is kept parallel to XY or the when the front view is kept parallel to HP, your top view will give you the true length isn't it when the pen is kept parallel to the horizontal plane and when we take a top view we get the true length of the pen okay so this is a basic concept that is you need to buy hard this okay when when you need to get the true length in front view please have a, have your object placed parallel to the vp and when you need to get the true length in the top view please place the object parallel to hp so that's it now let's move on to today's topic. See, you have to know these basic terms before we start the method, okay? That is true projection, true length, true inclination and apparent inclination. True projection means uh, the, your A dash B dash becomes your front view and AB becomes your top view. That is true projection, okay? What, to, what is the expected answer is your true projection, okay? And true length means, as I just said, that is the correct measured length the clear dimension of your object that is TL true length and 
Please note here that if you are taking the true length from the front view, then the representation of that line, okay, then the line representation must be like A dash B1 dash, okay. And if you are taking the true length from the top view, then it is like A B, A B1, okay. Nothing but the second variable, one, one of the variables must, must be having one subscript 1, okay. So, A B1 and A dash B1 dash are your true length, one measured uh, from your front view and the other taken from your top view, okay. And true inclination means the exact inclination or the real inclination of the line with respect to your plane. So, with respect to HP, the angle is theta and with respect to VP, okay, that is phi. Now, it is apparent inclination. Apparent inclination means it's the angle between the true projection. See, if this is your true projection, a dash b dash and a b and here comes your x y line now if i extend this front view i will get an angle in between this x y and a dash b dash and that is known as alpha okay so it is the inclination of your your front view with respect to x y and when i extend this top view I will get another inclination which is beta. So, beta is the angle between your true projection and your x y line. Okay. See, I will just discuss the theory behind this line rotation method. Okay. This is your x y line and you have the positions of a dash and b dash. The front view positions of your point marked, of your line marked and also you have the top view of the point A that is one end point of your line A uh, its top views dimension everything is given okay so such is your figure and also your true length is given to be about 60 mm let it be you have to get the true inclination with respect to HP and true inclination with respect to VP and you need to draw your complete true projection which means here in this figure I have just drawn only the front view and you have to complete your top view okay. So how to proceed with line rotation method is first of all you need to draw the locus locus of b1 dash and b1 dash locus is always through b dash okay. And what does this a dash b1 dash represents? It is the true length taken from the front view, isn't it? So, a dash b1 dash is your true length which is 60 mm. So, you need to place your compass tip over here and take a arc of 60 mm. Okay. And that will give you the position of b1 dash. Okay. So, you got the true length now. Okay. Now, next point next point is you need to drop this b1 dash downwards till you meet the top view of end a see we are dropping a line through b1 dash okay and we need to drop till the other letter see we started from b so till we reach the other view of the other letter till this point we need to drop this point okay and after this, you have to keep your compass point here and get the radius till here and continue drawing an arc like this, okay, with the same radius. Draw an arc for this. And this arc represents the locus of uh, your B, top view B. Okay, this is your locus of top view B. Now, we do not know where the exact point of B is, isn't it? So, you will be given with actually uh, another data will be given like B is 25 mm below in front of VP, in front of VP. So, what to do? You just take a 25 mm in front of VP means below X, Y line. We are taking the first quadrant, okay. All those descriptions are given in the uh, first, very first lesson of graphics, okay. So, 25 mm somewhere here. So, just take 25 mm below your x, y line and somewhere in this point, 
we uh, this uh, point b is lying isn't it this is the locus for b also and we got the other locus for b so two locus the point where the two locus meet up the point where the two locus meets up is the exact position of b and there comes your ab okay now this is the true projection or the top view of the line ab so top view is got and how to get the theta and phi or the angle with respect to hp and the angle with respect to phi okay so here the true inclination is always got from the true length okay what is that true inclination is always got from true length okay so which is the true inclination here a dash b1 dash is the true inclination i mean true length isn't it so the angle made by this a dash b1 dash with respect to the horizontal axis this will give you your theta since this is the true length taken from front view this particular angle is the inclination of the line with respect to horizontal plane or hp okay so thus you will get the theta value and what about phi so here also in order to get the true inclination you must have the true length taken from the top view and what is the true length taken from top view it is represented as a b1 similar to the locus we drawn uh, for b1 dash that is b1 dash had the locus passing through b dash we have the locus of b1 passing through b so here i have already drawn the locus for b so the same will be the locus for b1 also okay so this is your b1 locus and how to get the value or how to get the line ab1 just take an arc of 60 mm because 60 mm is your true length isn't it just take an arc 60 mm and cut it on this locus of b1 so here comes your b1 and when you join this ab1 you will get the true length of the line got from top view okay so this green line becomes your true length so the angle between this green line or the true length and your xy becomes the true inclination which is phi hence you get the phi value okay this is the real concept that is i'll sum up that is you have to start from true length drawing your true length and that is drawn like a b1 or a dash b1 b1 dash will give you the true length and how to get this point a b1 and b1 dash both are got from the same line where this b dash and b is coming up after that you have to drop a line what is that you have to drop a line till you reach the other view of the other side of the line okay and later you have to draw an arc and the arc is drawn by making your a as center and radius and with this radius you are going to draw an arc which will be the locus for your true projection so this is the flow chart actually that is you have to start from the true length drop your line get the arc which is the locus for your true projection okay so this is the chart and one more point is locus of b dash is equal to locus of b1 dash also locus of b1 is equal to locus of b let's take a question now see this is a very basic question okay a line ab 75 mm long is inclined 45 degree to hp and 30 degree to vp which means the true length is given tl is equal to 75 and we can represent the true length like a dash b1 dash that is the true length taken from front view and it is also equal to ab1 that is the true length taken from top view both are equal to 75 and the line is inclined 45 degree to the hp so it is given the true inclination with respect to hp that is 45 and with respect to vp means phi is equal to 30 degree and the location of a is given that is its end a end point of the line ab a a is on hp and 40 mm in front of vp okay so how to draw or how to locate this point a first draw your xy line it is given that the point a is on the hp so when does this xy turns hp when we draw a front view okay so when this point is on the hp means we have to take the front view of point a which means a dash a dash is lying on hp since we are drawing front view this xy automatically 
turns to HP. So, A dash is lying on XY implies the point A is on the HP. Okay. And 40 mm in front of VP means the same point A is having its position or the top view in front of VP. In front of VP means we have to take the lower side of XY line. You can refer the first video of graphics. So, how to take 40 mm down ways your XY line and just make a point straight down of the point A dash and here comes your A, the top view. Yes, it is evident that when we talk about VP, we have to draw for top view and top view of A is represented as simple, simple small letter A. And now we have to draw the projections, okay. Now, since the true length is given as 75 and we have the point or we have the marking like A dash B1 dash is 75. So, with your compass, just take, just cut an arc of 75 radius. Just cut an arc of 75 radius. And somewhere here, you will be having your B1 dash. Also, it is given A B1 is also 75, isn't it? Just draw an arc of same 75. Here, this is the locus for B1. Now it is given that the line is making 45 degree with respect to HP and this true inclination is got from true length, isn't it? So theta is, is actually the angle between A dash, B1 dash and XY. Okay. So you just take a 45 degree from your XY line and complete your drawing. So this is the locus of B1 dash because now it is clear that A1, A dash B1 dash is making 45 degree with XY line, isn't it? So, now you have got two locus for B1 dash and the intersection will give you the real point B1 dash. So, thus you get the true length and remember our chart was like TL drop arc get your true projection. Isn't it? Now that your A dash B1 dash is ready. Okay, let me mark in different color. A dash B1 dash is ready. So, TL is ready. Now, drop till you reach the other view of the other side of the line. That is, drop your point B1 dash till you reach the other view. We started from front view, right? So, reach till you get the top view for the other end of the line. We started from B. So, continue dropping this line till A and next is draw your arc okay making A as center just give an arc and this arc will be the locus of your true projection what is your true projection it is B okay and similarly it is given that phi is equal to 30 degree which means between A B1 and XY it is 30 degree so, this is the locus for B1, isn't it? See, it is just similar to that 45 degree, which means we have to make a angle between XY and AB1. XY and AB1, it is 30 degree. So, draw your XY, take 30 degree and extend, get your arm like this. And this is the locus for B1, isn't it? Now, AB1 is making 30 degree with XY. So, this is the locus for B1 and this is the locus for B1. So, here comes your exact B1. And we have studied that B1 and B is having the same locus which is parallel to XY line. So, this becomes the locus of B also. So, since we have got two locus for B, the intersection will give you the X at point B. So, here comes your top view of the line AB. So, your top view is ready. Now, you have to get the front view of the line AB. For that, you have to locate the point B dash, isn't it? Here, this point is B1 dash. Remember, this point was B1 dash because that is the point where we started dropping our line. So, this is your B1 dash and we are aware that B1 dash and B1, sorry, B1 dash and B dash lies on the same horizontal line parallel to XY. So, even this line becomes the locus of B dash. Okay. So, this is your locus of B dash and also we know that the projections that is the top view and front view occurs on same vertical line. 
remember so since this is your b definitely on this vertical line you will have your b dash so thus we have got locus of b dash intersecting and this becomes your final or the your exact true projection of the end b so just join this a dash b dash now you have got your front view of the line a dash b dash and top view of line a b okay so hope it is clear somewhat please uh, put your suggestions on the comment box uh, actually scale is not provided in this particular app that is why i will check for another uh, much more advanced app for graphics so that is it so once you follow those tips and tricks that i have given for you that is here you can see the locus of b dash and b1 dash also locus of b1 and b also about this chart okay and about this page if all these are put into a note and you can get our similar kind of questions i will definitely uh, come up with much more interesting questions for you so till we meet in the next class this is meenu signing off thank you and take care